Hello and welcome back to Build and Teach. In this tutorial, we're going to go over getting user input. So collecting user input using the built-in input function. Now the built-in input function is really easy to use. It takes as an as a parameter uh, the question that you want to display, and then it stores the answer to that question as a string, which is important uh, because if you're going to do some type of math uh, within your input, you should cast that uh, um, that input as a an int or float depending on what type of math you want to do uh, so let's 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 try it out so here I have a an, uh, I've, I have a variable name I've set it to my input function I've set the question to what is your name you can see it displays what is your name here I'm gonna put my name Henry Palma right and then it's gonna output hi Henry Palma right I plus remember concatenation string concatenation uses the plus and then the name and it output hi Henry Palma and let's do one here uh, for math right so here I'm collecting input for a first number and I'm collecting input for a second number then I'm adding those numbers remember that the va uh, the values that you uh, specify within the input get stored as strings so I have to cast them as ints if I'm gonna add them and here I'm adding them right uh, sum equals int num1 plus int num2 and then I'm printing them so sum here is an int because I'm adding two ints so I have to cast that back to a string uh, in order to input it so let's say 10 and then 5 as the second number and it will output the sum which is sum equals 15 right 10 plus 5 equals 15 uh, so very useful you can use it to test your uh, uh, functions, uh, to test your code uh, with different input values, or, or to you know to create calculators or stuff like that. Really useful. Uh, give it a try. As usual, there are text instructions at the end of this video. Thank you.